Hi everyone, it's Reen the Dream here, owner of JI Creative Studios, where we specialize in art, graphic design, web design, paint kits, and so much more. But today I have a special video for those of you that have purchased my one of my Acuity templates for your Acuity scheduling website. And I am going to show you how to download and upload the template to your Acuity scheduling site. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So once you place your order, you get this thank you flyer that has a link to the template. So once you get that, you're gonna click where it says click here for your template. And you should see a screen that looks like this. And we are going to go ahead and click use template. All right, now once you click on it, you have this beautiful design here and you can just edit to fit your business needs. So all you do is just click in there and change whatever you need to change and add photos to your liking. Now in this video, we're going to pretend that it's already done for us and jump right into um, the fun stuff. So once you have it designed, you finish editing it, we're gonna go up here and click on share. Once you click share, we're gonna come down to download. And here are our uh, pre-settings. Um, one thing I want to point out is for the size. You wanna make sure that right now it's set to one, but we're gonna drag this all the way down to 0.5 because what I have noticed in the past is that sometimes the files can be too large to go into the scheduling site and it won't let you uh, save it. It won't let you input it. So we're gonna just bump that on down to 0.5 and that, that has worked uh, for me. I have had no issues with that. So wanna be sure to do that. And we have all of our seven pages here. And if you notice, I have them um, named because you just find it's easier to locate uh, your pages that way. So everything was good there. And we're gonna go ahead and click download. All right, so the download is complete and we have our copy of our rose theme template and i am on a macbook so once i click this it automatically unzips so you want to make sure that whatever device you're using if you're not using a mac you want to make sure that you have some type of software that can unzip your files for you so that you can have access to them all right so i clicked on that and here is my folder with my theme there go all of my pages we are ready to now go to Acuity. And I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but here we are. So I'm already logged into my Acuity page and yours should look similar to this once you log in. We're gonna come over here and scroll down to where it says customize appearance. All right, and here we go with all of our details here. Um, it has a section for you to upload your logo. So if you have that, you wanna be sure to upload that there. And this is where the fun part comes in. So here we are where it says this little box here um, underneath scheduling instructions. We're gonna click in that box and where it says insert image, we're gonna go ahead and begin inserting those images now. So I'm gonna click here, then click choose file. Let me go to my downloads. I'm there. And here is my folder. All right. And the first page we want to upload is the welcome page, the welcome sign. All right. So I clicked it and there it goes. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you notice my cursor pops down right here. And you also notice right over here in our preview page where there it goes. All right, so we're gonna repeat that step until we insert all of our images. That's good. That's okay. To be honest. 
probably next time what I would do is when I name these files, I'll, I'll do numbers instead. I think that'll be a little bit more helpful um, in putting these in order next time. <laughs> I'm going to insert my last page, which is the thank you. And there we go. All right, so we have all of our images inserted. However, if we take a look in our preview page, we see these spaces or the, you know, these white spaces between our images and we do not want that because um, what I've noticed is that when you have these spaces in between the images and you save it, sometimes they save out of order. So I want this to be in order. So what I'm going to do is we're going to close these spaces. So I'm just going to begin by clicking my cursor next to the second image. And you can faintly see that cursor blinking on the side. And we are just going to hit delete to get rid of that space. And you notice right away, those images start to bump up. Just like that. And there we have it. There we go. All right, so that looks good. Moving right along. All right, now if you keep scrolling right here to the bottom, you notice where you can change the font. I'll choose Railway like that and then your button accent color so I want my button and accent color to be very similar to my theme so if we go back to acuity and let's see I'm gonna show you how you can choose a color that fits fits your theme so I'm gonna click on the text color here all right and if you notice where it says photo colors it has my background image the rose background and it's picked up five different colors from that image and I like that that flows with my theme and so I really like this um, caramel color it looks like and if you hover over it you notice a hashtag and some letters and numbers that's your hex code so that's the code that we want for our button so we're gonna just click it and then I'm gonna click this plus sign right here and boom right there you can see the hex code highlighted so now I'm gonna hit command C to copy and then I'm gonna come back to my acuity page and then I'm gonna click this drop down arrow and in this little box right here I'm gonna click there and hit command V that pastes the hex code and then I'm gonna click choose and there it is and now let's hit save changes all right so now let's take a look and see how it looks so let's click here where it says view client scheduling page and there we have it ladies and gentlemen here is our our page and it looks really good I love that and right here where your business name is if you decided to select the logo photo your logo will pop up right here instead of the text all right and so this looks really good really professional has all the details here and that looks good that looks good all right and you'll also notice where when we put in that hex code color here's the highlight color right here so that looks good it's highlighted even when you hover over the times so there you have it i hope that this video was helpful um please leave any questions comments um below and i'll be sure to reach back out if you decide that hey you know what i just don't have time to do this i can create a custom um template for you or page for you and I can get it set up for you just visit me at www.jicreativestudios.com and you can find that service along with other templates templates and so much more uh, thank you so much for watching and please if you haven't please subscribe I would love that and look forward to more 
videos just like this one right here and you can also find me on mostly all social media platforms thank you so much and have an awesome day